right, so you've been eyeballing the new Logan Belt 4-Link kit, and you're asking yourself, well, Logan, what do you want us to run for a locator bar on this? And the answer is right here behind us. We have an heavy-duty wishbone kit. If you don't know what a wishbone is, no problem, no worries. We're going to talk about it, and I'm going to explain to you why you should be running a wishbone at least in the rear of the truck and not anything like a panhard bar or a diagonal bar. Uh, let's dive into this and explain exactly why you want to only run a wishbone. So if you've never seen a wishbone before, they look a little something like this. Insert picture here of completed wishbone. Essentially what this allows your chassis to do is go through the full range of motion without moving the axle left to right. This is because you're gonna have two mounting points on the chassis side and one mounting point on the axle housing itself. And so it is going to freely move up and down with, of the suspension. A diagonal bar, which would traditionally mount across the top of your rear axle housing, with a lot of suspension travel is going to move the axle left or right because of the arc that the panhard bar is going to swing in. This does not have an arc because it's parallel with the four link bars. So you can run six inches of extension. <laughs> or six inches of compression in your chassis. and your rear end housing will stay perfectly square. This is a heavy duty kit, so this is plenty strong enough to run in heavy trucks and especially diesel trucks. The slider in this thing is super strong and well built, so let's talk about the slider. The slider slides, funny enough, in this tube here, and that is what allows the wishbone to freely move. If you did not have a slider on here, your chassis would be bound up as it tried to go through the range of motions. So the slider is a very important part of a wishbone. This wishbone kit comes with a bronze bushing on both sides of the slider sleeve, and you can see that this is a heavy wall, thick, very strong setup here. But the bronze bushing is really key because this thing has a super tight tolerance which is especially important if you're gonna to try to run this on the front of your four lane four by four. You don't wanna have any slop in that thing, any slop at all, especially in the front when the wheels are trying to turn it, are going to allow for the slider to clock back and forth and it'll give you steering input that you don't want. The slider is very strong, thick wall, uh, drilled tubing, so it's still lightweight, but very thick, very nicely well machined. If you put this together with a little bit of oil on it, this is something that's going to give you a long service life and is going to provide a whole lot of side-to-side -side strength. This kit comes with enough tubing to where you can build this thing pretty wide. About 14 inches is about as wide as you need this to be built. Uh, when I'm referring to the 14 inch number, I'm talking from center of rod end to center of rod end back here. Uh, there's really no reason to build it any wider than that. The more narrow you build it, the stronger that it is going to make it. So a 14 inches is a good rule of thumb to build it about that wide. Panhard bars and diagonal links are definitely a cheaper option because it's essentially just one of these tubes with a rod end on each end. But if you're spending the money and taking the time to go through the process of four linking your truck and you're buying a nice four link kit set up specifically to your truck, you're going to want to spend a little bit extra money, take a little bit of extra time to weld this out and create a really nice suspension for your truck that this is the setup that is run in all of the fastest door cars in the world. This is in your pro modified stuff, all of your radial stuff, anybody with a parallel four link that is going really fast runs a wishbone so if you're going to give your pickup truck this much time and money and effort put into the suspension this is a very very key feature of making sure that your suspension is set up correctly for years to come so if you guys are interested in this, the other four links stuff that I have on the website, you're going to go to getloganbuilt.com and you're going to scroll down until you see the suspension tab. You're going to click on suspension and all of this stuff is listed on the website there. 
stay tuned. We've got the next topic up for this is talking about anti-roll bars, which one that I'm going to be offering and why you need them. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.